Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to flash a custom ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Y. So, flashing a custom ROM is basically putting another operating system on your phone. You do have to download these files and you do need to be rooted, but I don't really think you do because one time I, I wasn't rooted, but then I still got to flash a custom ROM and that was after I flashed my stock ROM which wasn't rooted and I because I bricked my phone then I just flashed a custom ROM then it just worked you have to download this file I don't know if you could read it um no you can't read it it's skin 1980 galaxy something galaxy Y I think GTS 5360-clockwork mod CWM that's what it stands for dot zip and you can get it on for shared I think or media fire and once you of course you have to download the ROM itself and ROMs are basically I think some somewhere 80 megabytes plus and yeah you do need to have a lot of space on your phone and you do need to have a more than 50% battery life so once you downloaded the ROM that you like there's a lot of choices there is Creed's ROM that was my ROM that I used before on my videos um, there's my UI ROM which is Wii UI for Samsung Galaxy Y and there's also my UI version 1 cream which is compatible with Galaxy Y I think this is the only version there's Chobits ROM, there's Repensis ROM, there's a lot. You can just search on Google what's the best. And I'm trying to find out Blazing Hatred ROM because that's what that's the ROM that I like. It's like iOS. Even though I already have an iOS theme, but I'm trying to stop flashing ROMs because they do take up memory. And now first once you downloaded those stuff just put them anywhere on your SD card it doesn't really matter then turn off your phone Let's just wait now when you turned off your phone it's gonna vibrate right sometime there just vibrate it now you're gonna go into recovery mode which you do by home button pressing that the up volume up button volume up rocker button and the home key now if you accidentally press the low the volume down button it's gonna take you to download mode which you do when you try to flash the stock ROM okay let's go all the same time and let go when you see the galaxy Y logo not not real logo then here you're in recovery mode here's the first menu it says reboot system now it's gonna turn your on your phone apply update from SD card that's what we're gonna choose then wipe factory wipe data factory reset don't do that but you have to do that before you flash your ROM I won't do it now because I don't want to wipe cache partition it just wipes your cache you know and that is actually valuable when you wipe your cache now go to where you downloaded the skin 1980 galaxy y gts 5360 clockwork mod dot zip then apply update from sd card right then just choose that file then you go to the clockwork mod recovery version 5.0.2.6 then here we do the stuff already still there's apply update from SD card from apply update dot zip sorry then web data web cache install zip from SD card that's what we're gonna do backup and restore which backs up and restores as it says mountain storage which is like you can format your data system never format your system and that's how you brick your soft brick your phone trust me don't do it 
and advanced is basically where you wipe your other stuff and fix permissions and report stuff okay now go to install zip from SD card it just says SD it's not complete now you're gonna the first option says choose zip from SD card apply the SD card update toggle signature ver toggle script assert I, I don't know what they mean actually I never use them now you're gonna choose the first option which is choose zip from SD card and you're gonna find wherever you put that file that ROM you chose and it's basically a it's going to be a zip file so I had these ROM on my files and you just select it you know then it's gonna read it's gonna say a log stuff and you should wipe data wipe wipe everything except system because that is very bad here's the wipe system never do that wipe cache you can do that never wipe SD card too if you don't want your SD card to be blank never you can wipe data after you flash it on and once it's at complete and you're back at this menu you can just you can just reboot system now then it's gonna turn on you know the usual stuff and this will take a long time like I guess I don't know it depends like sometimes two minutes it depends it really depends cuz depends on how many files you have on your SD card but it's usually really slow at the first time every time you factory reset your phone the first boot is really slow so don't worry about if it's stopping or lagging or if your phone froze yeah it's gonna turn on well i have a stock rom right now so I, I can't really show you what it's going to be what what it's going to look like but that's basically it when your phone turns on enjoy your custom rom and there is a lot of features so see you guys